welcome to my YouTube channel. Today kicks off the start of my Back to the Basics YouTube series. So this series is going to be for anyone who is lacking confidence in the artistic side of their bullet journal or hasn't yet started in their bullet journal because they feel inadequate or are looking at Instagram and Pinterest and thinking, oh my god, I can't do this. Yes, you can. So this series is for you. This series is going to break down the basics and get you started with some artistic elements that aren't overly complicated and will boost your confidence and get you going in the right direction so that you can build up to something a little bit more in the future if that's what you choose to do. But for now, we'll start off with some really fun and awesome artistic elements that are super easy to create and you can follow along with these tutorials and then towards the end of this series we will put all these things that we learned together and we will create a monthly spread and a weekly spread. So I hope you guys enjoy and we'll kick it off with the very first video which is going to be banners and headers. Okay guys, so in part one we are going to do some very simple banners and flags and headers. You don't need much. Um, it definitely helps to have dot grid paper but you can do this on line paper or plain paper or whatever you're using. And then I will be using um, a pencil. I just have this Pentel Twist Erase. Um, I like this because I use a lot of erasers, so it really helps. Um, but any pencil will work as long as you have an eraser. And then um, any pen will work. I'm using the 0.5 Uni Pin Fine Liner. I love these pens. They last forever and they're super affordable. And then the last thing I'm gonna be using, it's definitely not required, but I love it and it's super, super affordable, is this Helix Angle Circle Maker. This thing is awesome. It has so many uses. Um, and we'll just be using this to do some little circles. So anything you have that has a little circle stencil will work. So first we're going to start with our pencil and we're going to do some very simple banners um, and I'm going to show you one um, basic one and then from there you'll kind of be able to work from there and build your own. So we're just going to start with um, a rectangle, so a long horizontal rectangle. So we're going to go here, I made mine too high and you could use a ruler here if you want but you don't have to. So. This would be the forward part of our banner, so this is where we would write our text. From here, we need to make the pieces that extend out the back. So the best way that I can explain how to do this and how to visualize it is to draw two more rectangles in pencil. So if you do it like this, and they should be the same height as your original rectangle. So if this one has a height of two, then these should have a height of two. So for me, this is an easy way to visualize where these extend behind the actual banner. Then take your pen and we're gonna just trace over the first rectangle that we made, so the longer one. Okay, so we have that. Now, these corners here, these little square boxes, you see these would not be showing because they are behind the banner. So now we only wanna trace over the pieces that aren't here in this rectangle. So we're gonna go here and here. And now from here, you can decide what you wanna do with the end of your banner. Um, I usually bring mine in so I end up having two points so it comes to a center and then back out that way but you could also make a point coming out this way. You could add scallops. Um, you can do whatever you want. And then bring this line up to meet the bottom. We're gonna do the exact same thing on this side. So we're gonna go here and here, and then in and back up to the top. So there is the basic shape of our banner. Now we just need to add the folds. So here we'll erase just to kind of be able to visualize this. So to create the folds in your banner, you are going to go from your very first rectangle, so the long one, you're gonna go from this bottom corner to this corner. You're just gonna draw a straight line. So it creates that triangle space there. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So from this bottom corner of the rectangle to this corner. So just create a straight line, it creates a, rec or a triangle. And then you can fill it in with like some lines to give it some dimension. You can leave it open, you could color it completely in. 
So there's that one. Now, real quick, I'll just show you from here, you can change this, you can change this banner up. You could do another one here. And on this one, you could make one coming out the top. And one coming out the bottom. The big thing here is to keep your banner height the same and consistent throughout. So if you have a height of two here, you need to have a height of two on this back banner and then connecting your corners to create that fold. So you can see that that's pretty easy. Once you have one down, you can pretty much change it up to match your style. So now let's add a little bit of complexity to it. So now we'll take and we'll do a curved banner. So we're gonna make curve like that and we're gonna make a parallel line to that so we're gonna follow this exact same curve so I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna go up and then back down trying to keep that width very consistent so then let's connect our end pieces so again here is the front of our banner and now we want to create the back so I find that the easiest way to do this is go above the banner and back a little ways and then make your curvy line so now here we have to follow that same curve, keeping the same height. So about there. Then connect here, draw your end point. We'll do the same thing here. So from here we can go like that. And then we're just gonna follow that same curve. So just like that. Draw your end, bring it up. And the same way that we created this bend we're gonna do that here so this corner to this corner and this corner to this corner so those are some really simple banners um, you can definitely make them more complex you can add more folds to them so with these square banners we can do it like this I do like to use a height of two it leaves me enough room to write and add some fun fonts in there um, and it's also easy then to make those the back part of your banner and make it consistent because you can just move down one and that would be half and then down here. So let's add some extra folds in our banner here. So now we're going to just draw another box so like this and bring it back behind. So almost like a square. If we were to connect this, this would look like a square. So we're going to make one identical to that over here just like that and then we'll do one more here and we'll bring this one a little farther out and add the tail to it just like that so then we'll do that on this side so bring it out here out here in and in and then all we have to do is add our folds so it still goes corner to corner so corner to corner corner to corner corner to corner and corner to corner and then you can add your lines or fill them in or do whatever you want to um, add depth. So just like that. So that is it for those basic banners. Now we'll do like some flag styles. So these are really fun for doing like weeklies. Um, so we'll do a sideways one first. So start with a sideways arc or U shape. So it's like that and then bring this out. Now decide on how tall you want it and you're gonna start right where the top of this U is. So we'll go with a height of two again. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna bring this out. And then, like I said, you can add different points to it so you could do it this way. So now all we have to do is connect these here. So this is like, imagine a banner wrapping around and then you see the front of it. So this is where it turns backwards. So right here is where you could add like your weekly box. So like this or a notes box or whatever you wanted it to be actually. And then you could do the same with this. So this is a turn. So you kind of want to darken that up because it's behind the front piece of this banner. And then you can add details to any of these too. You could add like some stitching effects just with little dashed lines that go all the way along the banner and you can bring them down to the point and make sure though that when you do that you leave yourself enough room to write so then say if this was a weekly I could write my header 
in here. Just like that. Um, you can do the exact same thing, but have it turned upwards. So this time you're just gonna make an upside down U shape like that. And then extend this one down. And then we're gonna do the same. So we have a line there and it wraps over to touch. And then bring this down. And then this is where like your box would be, right where the bottom of that U shape is. So that's where you have that horizontal line. And then you would have whatever you're gonna put right here. So maybe on this one you have like Friday the 22nd, just like that. And then again, you can color this piece in. So there's another one. So that's it for our flags. Now we'll just do some other simple and fun header ideas um, that are easy and quick um, and anybody can do. So again, all you need is a black pen. Um, start in pencil if you're unsure. So the first one we'll do a stationary related one. So um, I like to think of these as like sticky notes. So you're gonna try to make a square. So count your boxes. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and that will be my end point. So we're making a square. All right, now instead of bringing this all the way over, we're going to turn one end up. So where this would normally meet would be right here. And instead of bringing these lines to meet here, we're gonna draw a diagonal line and then we'll bring these down to meet. So you draw a diagonal line from the bottom of the box here. So we're leaving this corner open. And this is where like dot grid paper really helps. So now we're just gonna draw a triangle to meet this dot right here. And then it looks like you have this post-it note with a corner that's bent up on itself. Um, the next one is very similar. We can just do a note that is like taped. So I like to start with a piece of tape. And again, this is a great one to just do in pencil first. So I'm gonna go here and make some jagged edges and then like a strip of tape. And then behind that would be where our piece of paper would be. So we're not gonna draw our box all the way down. We're gonna draw to the piece of paper, or to this strip of tape, and then keep going down, and then draw to the strip of tape, skip over it, come over, come down. You could add another strip at the bottom if you wanted. You can add decoration to this to make it like washi tape. So you could like add some diagonal lines or dots or little tiny doodles inside there. So that's another one. And then the next one is an arrow. So I like arrows, I don't know, they're kind of trendy, I guess. So just draw a straight line, a straight horizontal line. And now we're gonna add the back part of our arrow, the, the tail, the feather, I don't know what you call it. Okay, so we're gonna add like a V shape to the back. Now we're gonna, copy that V shape right about here. So not all the way at the end of our horizontal line, but right about there. And then we'll connect those with some horizontal lines. So there's the tail end of it. And then leave yourself enough room. This is where I would do my writing. So again, we could do Friday the third, we'll just say right there. And then we can finish off our arrow here. So then draw your horizontal line and then the point of your arrow, which I just do a like an arrow shape and then connect it to a point right here. And then you can go through and you can add in details. So you could do um, lines back here. So I just like to make them parallel to these diagonal lines. And you can make some that are wider apart and narrower together. And then you can either make the bottom match or make it mismatch. So like that. And that's a really simple one. Um, a strip of tape. So this kind of goes along with the stationary. So we'll just draw one horizontal line and then however tall you want your writing to be. So I just, two is like, two rows is my rule of thumb kind of, it's what I always use. So then we're just gonna create a jagged line. So just like up and down 
some taller, some shorter, like it's ripped. So this doesn't have to be perfect, just like that. And then you could write your header in here. All right, let's get on to a couple more. So another simple one is a um, rectangle. So just draw your rectangle, however big you need it. Um, I like to think about what my header is gonna be in advance before I draw out my doodly header so that I know how much room I have and how much room I'm gonna need. So if I have a really long word, so like um, the difference between the word Friday and the word Wednesday is pretty big and requires a different amount of space. So think about that when you're creating your doodly header. So then scallops are just U shapes. So I like to do them this way so where I'm drawing like an arch and then I will rotate my paper to do them along each side so that I'm making that same consistent movement throughout. Um, if you can do it all the way around without rotating your paper, that's fine. I find it easiest to just rotate my paper. It makes my little arches a little bit more consistent. And then rotate again and finish off those scallops. And then we're back here. And then you could add whatever else you wanted. You could do um, little lines coming up the center if you wanted, um, however you wanna do it. And then the next one is going to be like a party banner. So you just create this arched line like that. And then you're gonna add some upside down triangles to it. So again, here's where you wanna think about what word you wanna use because typically you'll have one letter per word. So if we're gonna write the word Monday, that's M-O-N-D-A-Y, so six. So we need six total triangles. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I have space left over. So here's where you gotta kinda of get creative when this happens. So you can write the word Monday and then maybe you leave a space or you add another one right here and then this would be where the number would go. So then you can write M-O-N-D-A-Y and then whatever the date is, so six. Um, you can also do it in pencil first and that would prevent that from happening. Um, and then the next one is where we will do our circles. So this is another one where you're gonna count however many letters you're gonna use. So we'll do uh, Tuesday, because we haven't done Tuesday. So one circle, however big you wanna make it. This comes with a variety of different circle sizes and I am using the 3 8 So I just put a circle there and I try to kinda line mine up with a line of dots so that I know where it's at. Doesn't have to be perfect. So then I'm gonna move over a little bit and go T U E S D A and Y. G U E S D A Y. Perfect. So then you could write that in there. And then you can, I like to rotate mine. I have a better, I draw straight lines better when they're vertical than when they're horizontal. So now I'm gonna go right down the center of these and I'm gonna create a double line here. Trying to keep consistent. You can use a ruler. Just be sure not to draw through your circles. So just stay very conscious while you're doing this. Okay. So there's another one. And then our last one is just a simple laurel. Um, I get people who have asked me how to do these quite a few times um, and they're really easy. So there's two ways you can do it. This is gonna create much more of a, um, a very rounded laurel. So you can take, so this has these little, um, these little arrows on it. And I'm just going to put them so that they are at the top and bottom. And then 
I would draw from one arrow to the other. So you're just kind of drawing like a quarter of the edge of a circle. So something like that. And then you can do little leaf shapes. So my leaf shapes on these are typically very simple. They're going to look like an upside down teardrop shape. So we're making this shape. So it's pointed at the bottom and rounded at the top. So I just make one on each side and then move up a little. Move up a little. And then do the same thing here. And you try to stay consistent. So I have a total of five leaf bundles on that side. So on this side, I will try to make a total of five as well. So there's that. And then you can write your header in here. I don't know why I keep writing Friday. So we could have Friday and then maybe you put a line and then the date. And then the other one that is similar to that would just be to make one that is like a V shape. So you're kind of creating a curved line, but it's gonna come down at the bottom. So right here, we'll call this our center point. So this is where we want our second laurel to come to. So we're gonna go like this and there. So then we have a laurel that comes together at the bottom instead of just being on the sides. And then you can add a little bit of thickness to these bottom branches and then you can do the same thing so on this one I'm just making that teardrop shape a little longer and a little narrower and then getting a little smaller as I go up so I start bigger at the bottom and then get just a little smaller as I get closer to the top like that and then your header goes between here so that's all I have for you guys for simple headers and banners but in the next video I'll be showing you some really simple print fonts so you don't have to know how to write in cursive you don't need a brush pen you won't need anything special we're just going to do some really fun and simple print fonts that you can add to your bullet journal. So if you'd like to see that video, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications when that video goes live. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.